As I've reported many times about Tesla Giga Berlin and its progress, I've reported that Tesla Giga Berlin is building a huge battery factory. And now I just learned when it will start to produce. Giga Berlin is still in its early stages, but the Germany-based electric vehicle factory is aiming for some ambitious targets for its own. Among these is the facility's battery production, which is reportedly expected to begin sometimes in the first quarter of 2023. The cell building is almost ready and we now some timing. Tesla's next generation cars are expected to be powered by company's next generation 4680 battery cells. The company currently equips some Texas made Model Y with 4680 battery. But in the future, Tesla's vehicle lineup is expected to adopt the new battery from the factory. Gigafactory Berlin appears to be on one side that is actively planning equipment vehicles with the new large batteries. As noted in a German publication BZ report, Tesla presented its 4680 battery technology in Grünheide at Giga Berlin this past Sunday. Tesla explained that instead of using thousands of small lithium-ion cells for its vehicles, the company intends to roll out cars that are equipped with significantly fewer but larger 4680 cells. The 4680 battery cells are faster and cheaper to manufacture and they are more environmentally friendly. They will bring the cost of Tesla's down. Tesla station appears to have attracted quite a lot of attention on Sunday. So yesterday about 1000 visitors took the time to learn about the electric vehicle makers new battery technologies. Questions about the training and jobs at Giga Berlin were reportedly addressed as well. I've had a couple of reports about what happened at Giga Berlin last Sunday. You can see it in my reports. Citing information that is acquired, German news outlet BZ noted that the interior work for Giga Berlin's battery factory is already underway. Bearing any unforeseen delays, 4680 battery production could begin in the first quarter of 2023, maybe by spring. The target is reportedly to produce enough batteries to support 500,000 Teslas per year, the estimated optimum output of Giga Berlin's current state without um, expansion. Giga Berlin still has quite a long way to, be, uh, to go before it's fully ramped. The facility is est um, estimated to produce only about 1,500 Model Ys per week for now, but eventually this output is expected to increase to about 10,000 cars per week. Mastering the production of 4680 cells is an uphill journey, friends, as well as the largest cells utilize a dry coat electrode process, which is quite different from conventional battery making techniques. But the latest I heard from Giga Berlin is that the cell building is almost ready and as i just said they're building they're working on the interior design putting equipment and there so on and thus tesla giga berlin will be able to produce electric vehicle batteries for its tesla cars um, by the beginning of next year in the first quarter look forward to that and i'm going to bring you the uh, the latest it will be very exciting to see giga berlin made model y's built by giga berlin made batteries elon musk is trying to expand tesla's value chain Tesla is studying the feasibility of a lithium hydroxide refinery on the Texas Gulf Coast. The facility would be the first of its kind in North America. This is an important thing for Tesla. While many old guard car manufacturers are still working feverishly to electrify their product range and implement their software plans, Tesla is taking the next step. Due to the enormously increased uh, prices for the raw materials, lithium company boss Elon Musk simply wants to build a lithium hydroxide refinery on the Texas Gulf Coast himself. Not long ago, Elon Musk hinted that Tesla might move into large-scale lithium refining. Remember that? The reason? Prices for lithium hydroxide, a key component in the manufacturing of electric batteries for Tesla cars. And they have already risen by 120% this year, according to an index from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. Friends, if Tesla's Texas application is approved, construction of the refinery could begin as early as the fourth quarter of 2022. That means by the end of this year. The project is then scheduled to start commercial operations in the fourth quarter of 2024, in two years. The electric car maker would then process raw ore material into a condition usable for battery production and then ship the lithium hydroxide to various Tesla battery factories around the world now. With the construction of a lithium hydroxide refinery, Tesla would expand the value chain. That's the key for this report. From a technical point of view, the short-term chart uh, picture has brightened significantly. 
the important 200 day line is 295 dollars uh, it was broken the next resistance stands at 315 dollars for tesla stock although friends i'm not in the stock market and i don't uh, this is not uh, a advice to buy or sell tesla stocks after sending untrained sales workers to work on vehicles amid the service crisis in the service we now learn that tesla is bringing the workers back to sales for another end of quarter push for a new end of the quarter goal electric reports today here's what they said earlier this year we all learned about tesla ceo elon musk's renewing efforts to improve the automaker service especially in north america where many tesla owners are experiencing long wait times to get their cars into service in some markets we know that tesla ceo elon musk is trying to fix that now Electric exclusively reported that Tesla was launching a new effort to revolutionize service with bigger centers and more specializations. In June, we learned that uh, Elon Musk's renewed attention, attention on Tesla service came due to the department experiencing bigger issues than previously believed. The CEO made service a new top priority for Tesla and even canceled sales and delivery targets to focus on it to focus on service we even learned that tesla pulled untrained sales workers from their positions to work on cars in service centers a few months later electric has learned that tesla is now starting to gradually bring the employees back into their roles in sales as the automaker is trying to deliver as many vehicles as possible at the end of the quarter according to sources familiar with the matter this is per electric reports we know that third quarter is expected to be a very good quarter for tesla we'll look for that and like i said i'm not in the stock market so over the last year musk has said that tesla would try to move away from its model that results in larger pushes for deliveries at the end of quarters but it had a difficult time achieving that last quarter ended up being another nutty one according to the ceo while the end of quarter three should have a more manageable delivery push sources familiar with the matter told electric that tesla's model 3 and model s production is going to be a bit higher than its sales backlog hence why the automaker is now pulling the sales workers back from tesla service to sales Sources also told Electric that Tesla is seeing a decent number of customers trying uh, to delay their orders to 2023 in an attempt to have access to the new federal tax credit for electric vehicles. However, Tesla has decided to stick to the original order contracts with customers and cancel orders if delivery is delayed too long. The results in factory built slots opening for some Model 3 and Model S variants for the end of the quarter. I will have all the links in the description of this video so you can check the references, friends. Now, um, I wouldn't necessarily take this as a bad sign, says Electric, and I agree uh, for Tesla's demand. After all, Tesla literally stopped taking orders on some more popular versions of its vehicles due to the backlog getting too long. It just looks like some production uh, allotment is not matching orders and Tesla is short on stuff in sales to rectify the situation since it sent a decent number of employees to work on service. Now, while Tesla is not pushing as much for end of quarter delivery waves, the automaker still doesn't want to be sitting on too many vehicles in inventory at the end of the quarter because it looks bad on its financials this is why tesla is making these things it has been a while since tesla had to pull a demand trigger but it doesn't look like it is going for a major one